You know, sometimes I just can't understand some of these private messages and things that are that are sent to me my way. Um, I understand that we are literally in a social and moral and spiritual decline. That I get it. What I don't understand is why come people will not use the force of strength of mind to try to figure out what I'm saying rather than every single time you make a comment or make a video, somebody's there to oppose it. Now, I don't mind that because anytime you set yourself apart or you set yourself aside to be a man of truth, you're going to make enemies all across the board. So, I guess I got people upset with me because they went back in some of my older videos and hear what I had had to say about uh, women uh, dressing like whores and, and, and carrying on. Now, yeah, I'm not going to ask for no forgiveness, nor am I going to make any apologies for anything that I've said. You know, I think the problem is, is that we do not know history. So since many of you black people out there don't know history, let Pastor Dow educate you for a second, okay? When our people were bought over on slave ships, they had um, a bunch of men, a bunch of white people that would sexually exploit them, be it boy, girl, wives, women, males. It makes no difference. They um, It's just a fact of history that has happened, and people like to sweep it under the radar. And, of course, there's a lot of things that people don't like to be reminded of. I love reminding us of things from the past. And the reason why I love reminding us of things of the past, that's so you don't forget uh, where we at today. But if you don't know what has already taken place, what has already transpired in the past, how in the world are you going to know what's going on today? So, you know, when you see these 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 damn fools up there that call themselves rappers and gangster rappers and stuff, and they on videos and they exploiting um, uh, or, or the black, ignorant, stupid women allow themselves to be exploiting up there, gyrating all over the place with their titties and their butts hanging out all over the old place, uh, skin and stuff. They, they don't understand that you got one man on the video, you got this plethora, 10 and 20 women out there just exposing their ass all over the place. I mean, their, their ass is all over the place. Just I mean, they just uh, just gyrating and jiggling and chooking and booking and, and can on and butt shaking. And they don't understand that this is nothing new. Because when they were being exploited, they had what they call houses of irrepute, um, houses of pleasure. And they would have this one black guy that would, would, would he'd be like the, uh, the house Negro. And, and what he'd do, uh, he'd get out there and he'd start dancing and gyrating and stuff. And so when all these white people would come in and, and they wanted to buy some sex, he'd bring out all these black women. They get to gyrating around, juking around. And he's up there all happy with them and stuff. You have to understand this is a people who have lost a knowledge of self. Um, and they don't understand what's, what has happened to them. And so, the, 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 and these men will sit there and watch these women gyrating around and stuff. And so these, these white men, and they, they will come up and they will just take them a piece of black. And, um, and, and of course, now here we are again, the same way today, we got these uh, rapping videos with these damn fools up there. Um, and these stupid women exploiting themselves. We got the same old Sam Bocone nigga out there just exploiting the black women. They up there gyrating and smiling and can all just presenting themselves as a bunch of whores. And because you're ignorant of the past, you have no idea what you're doing today. None whatsoever at all. We have become a nation that is just simply out of touch with morality all the way across the board. Now, I'm speaking to black consciousness simply because it's obvious that when you look at me, you can tell that I'm a black man. And I make no apologies with speaking to my people the way that I do after the flesh. Um, because all these alleged people, I have a dream. You ain't got no damn dream. You're a liar. That's what you are. And you got all these other people. I mean, and you got these lying preachers that exploit you and felice you. 
Don't care nothing about your soul, dignity, or anything. I mean, it's just I, people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, and that is exactly what is happening. That is exactly what's happening. And so now I'm trying to communicate and tell everybody, you need to understand 1% of the people in this world is dominating and ruling the conscious and the whole entire world. And now the whole entire world, be you black, white, red, yellow, blue, purple, green, or brown, y'all, we are all on the plantation and we're all being exploited sociably, economically, yes we are, yes politically, and especially on the religious so-called faith front. And people have no idea, they don't know if they're coming or going. So when you get me like a long voice, crying in the wilderness, trying my best, and you can't stimulate something that's already dead, ain't never been there, and has no spirit of recall whatsoever at all. It's a fact that women do not have any honor for themselves whatsoever at all today. They have made themselves base. Um, they lack scholarship. They lack self-control, dignity. All the things that will bring about a respectable woman of a meek and quiet spirit, it's all but gone in society. And everything in this world is gendering towards feeding the flesh. Like I said, in my day growing up, you could tell who was a street whore. You could literally tell. Now, go out here and just go to the mall and tell me if you can tell the difference between a street whore and a modern day woman who claims to be dignified. I just don't. And mind you, these are supposed to be mothers. Mothers who's supposed to be the first line teachers to children. And this is the type of example that you're putting forth for the children to see. A mama with a chest hanging out all over the place and her ass on display for every man to lust and gawk after. I mean, you are liars. You all are liars. It's a shame. I believe our children deserve a better world than this. I really truly do. Because you tell you tell the truth. You don't want your daughter to be exploited by every man's lust and passion out there simply because she's trying to dress like someone like 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 like, like these stupid idiotic people on these videos. You mean tell me that's what women are today? Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, Pastor Dow. Well, Pastor Dow, you kind of out of touch. You live out in the country, out in the wood line and stuff like that. You're a bony man, so you don't know what in the world is going on. Oh, yes, I do, too. I see it all the time. I travel a lot. I go in airports. And I just don't understand for the life of me why these women wear these spandex, skin-tight spandex. And... I don't understand why. Why would they? Why would a woman turn around and wear something that that would show their cleavage all the way down like like this right here? It just don't make sense to me. It don't make sense whatsoever. The only thing they could be doing is because uh, either they're lacking attention at home, they're lacking it, or they're looking for attention, and usually they always get the wrong attention. Somebody gonna come up and lie to you, and the next thing you know, you're gonna find yourself in trouble. So we got all these curses that the Bible talk about that's going to come up on the people. They're up on the people today. Literally because we got no sin. What, what happened to the old people that would reprove? Because I understand the younger generation, they ain't caring nothing about what the older people say. They don't want to hear no reproof, no re correction, no rebuke. But then when the world comes crumbling down, the first thing they do is come running back home to where safety is. It's a sad situation. That's what it is. Exactly a sad situation. We need help. And if we ain't going to listen to a set-apart righteous preacher today, somebody show me an example of someone who is setting the bar in the precedence of righteousness, truth, holiness, modesty that we should be following today. Because if what I'm preaching and teaching, if it is not it, and if it's not the model, 
then show me so I can correct my behavior. 